Hi, welcome to How to Use Modgician. The Modgician program makes it really simple to install and manage all your Minecraft mods, and we want to make sure you have a good understanding of exactly how to use it so that you get the most out of the program. Let's get straight into it. The first thing you need to understand is that the Minecraft launcher allows you to run any version of Minecraft. So first off, you need to set up the versions that you want to mod. So open the Minecraft launcher to the main screen. Down here is a drop-down list showing the profiles that have been set up. When you first log into Minecraft, it sets up a default profile with the same name as your Minecraft username. If you click the Edit button, you can see that it is set to run whatever the latest version of Minecraft is. So to make it easier to mod and launch the version that we want, let's get a little more control and set the version that it opens to the actual latest release which in this case is 1.7.5. Then change the profile name to be the same, so I'll put in 1.7.5, then click the Save Profile button. So we now know that launching the profile called 1.7.5 will launch the 1.7.5 version of Minecraft. Let's also create a couple more profiles. So click the New Profile button here, Change the Use Version drop-down to 1.7.2. Then type 1.7.2 in the Profile Name box and click the Save button. I'm also going to make one for 1.6.4. The reason for this is that at the time of making this video, there's very few mods that have been released for Minecraft 1.7.5. There's a few out for 1.7.2, but there are lots of mods available for 1.6.4 so I'm going to use that version. Next you will need to run each of these profiles at least once so that it downloads those versions onto your computer. So just select it from the drop-down, click play and launch the profile. Rather than make you wait I'll go ahead and pause the video and come back when I finish doing this. There we go. So all of these profiles have now downloaded the files they need to run. That's all you need to do for now in Minecraft. After signing up for your Magician membership, you should have received an email from us that looks a little bit like this. It contains your username and password so that you can log into the members area of the website and download the software. I'm going to just highlight and copy this password to make it easier rather than retyping it out. If you didn't receive the email yet, check to see if it went into your spam folder. If it's not in there, please go to the support page on our website and follow the instructions to have it resent. Now before logging into the website, please make sure you've read through the instructions on this page. I can't stress enough how important they are to modding, especially the first two. If you missed this page during the sign-up process, you can find a link to it on the support page. Okay, to log into the Magician website, just click on Login at the top of the website put in your username and password, tick this box if you want your browser to remember it for next time, and click the login button. When you log in, you'll automatically be taken to the members area. So just click this download button here, a message will pop up like this. Just click OK. You may get a security warning message. Just confirm the file is OK and the program will download. If you haven't changed the default settings of your browser, then the file will be downloaded into your Downloads folder. So just drag it from there onto your desktop, as this is the actual Magician Launcher, so you'll want to have quick and easy access to it. There's no actual installation process with Magician. All you need to do is double-click it and it will run. If it doesn't open to this login screen and you get an error message of some kind or it tries to open in another program, whether you're using Mac or Windows, instead of double-clicking on it, just right-click on it, choose Open With, then choose Jar Launcher. Provided you have Java installed properly, then it should run just fine. If not, go to the support page of the website. So on the login screen, just put your Magician username and password in here and here, tick the Remember Password box and click Login. Magician now launches, analyzes your Minecraft versions that you've created, and takes you to the Version Management tab. This is where you select the version of Minecraft that you want to mod. Down here it lists the profiles you created earlier in Minecraft. If you create any more versions, 
they will show up in this list. But we've got all we need for right now, so click Generate for 1.6.4, because that's the version of Minecraft I want to mod. So now I've got my version of 1.6.4 that I can mod, and I'll just simply click its Select button. Modgician then talks to our servers and retrieves all the latest information on the mods for that version. Once it's got all the info, it takes you to the Mod Installation tab, which lists all the mods in our database for that version of Minecraft. This area here is designed to help you filter and find the mods you want. The default is to show all mods. Clicking any of these category names will filter the mods in the list to only the ones in that category. Just click on the category name and it filters the list down below. Then click it again to turn it off. You can select more than one at a time. Clicking them again will remove that category from the filter. Clicking all mods will remove all filters and show all of the mods again. You can also search for a mod by name. Just click in here and type the first couple of letters and it brings you down to the first mod with those letters. Once you've installed a few mods, then you can also click the Installed Mods filter and it will only display the mods that you've installed. This is really handy when you want to find a mod that you want to uninstall. Now the first mods you'll need to download are some Core mods. So click on Core and scroll down to Forge. There's Forge and Forge Dependency. I already have Forge Dependency downloaded, but I need to download Forge. So click the Download Import button for Forge, then click the Download link. It opens up your internet browser and takes you to the download location for the mod. Now these links are provided by the mod developers, so there isn't a whole lot of consistency to the download pages. This particular mod uses what's called an AdFly link. This is a way to download a mod so that it gives a fraction of a cent back to the mod developer. Don't click anything down in here. Just wait 5 seconds for the countdown, then click on Skip Add, and the file should download into your Downloads folder. And now that's downloaded, so I can close this tab here, minimize my browser, and come back to Modgician. Now you'll notice just here it displays the exact name of the file you just downloaded. So click the Import button, find the file we just downloaded, and click Open. It now imports the mod and inspects it to ensure the file is good. Then displays the imported status and this checkbox appears. Now that the mod is imported, it's ready to install any time we need it. Now to choose the mods I want to play with. I might install dragon mounts here so I can fly around on an ender dragon and gravity gun. So I'll click the download import button on dragon mounts, click the download link, wait 5 seconds, click on skip add, and the mod is now downloaded into the downloads folder. So close this tab and minimize, take note of the file name we're looking for, click the import button, find the file, click it and click open. Dragon Mounts is now imported. I'll move down to Gravity Gun, click the Download Import button, click the Download link, wait 5 seconds, click on Skip Add, and the file downloads. So I'll close this tab and minimize the browser, take note of the file name, click the Import button, find the file, click it, and click Open. Gravity Gun is now imported. Now I think I'm ready to install, so I'll tick the box for Gravity Gun and for Dragon Mounts. Now, when I click the Install Selected Mods button, if there are any other core mods that Minecraft needs for these mods to work, Modgician will tell me. So, it's telling me that Gravity Gun also needs a core mod called iChun Util. So I'll click Close, click on Core, Find iChun Util, click the Download Import button, click the Download link, wait 5 seconds, click on Skip Add, and the file downloads. 
So I'll close this tab and minimize the browser. Take note of the file name. Click the import button. Find the file, click it, and click open. iChun Util is now imported. So I'll unclick core, then select the mods I want again and click the install selected mods button. Modgician checks everything is good to go and lists all the mods it will install in the order that it will install them. So just click the install button and sit back while it installs the mods. Mods get installed pretty quickly, but Forge can take a little bit longer, so I'll just pause the video until it's done. Okay, that's just about finished and done. So now we can see that I've successfully installed Dragon Mounts and Gravity Gun. Now I'll click the Launch Minecraft button. The first time you click this, you will need to browse to the location of your Minecraft launcher, which is normally on the desktop. Just click here to go to the desktop and double click on Minecraft. Once Minecraft opens, click in the drop down box here, select the version of Minecraft you just modded. It will have Modgician after the numbers. Click play and that will then launch. As you can see, Dragon Mounts and Gravity Gun are successfully installed. Now, before you go off on your own, there's a couple more things that you need to know. So I'll just close Minecraft and go back to Modgician. To uninstall mods, just simply click the Uninstall button. And you can install them again at any time because they're already imported. If you have any trouble at all using the program, click on the Support tab here. Tell us if you're on Mac or Windows, which version of Modgician you're using, the version of Minecraft you're trying to mod, the mods you're trying to install, and put in as much detail as you can telling us what you clicked on, what happened, what went wrong, include any error messages if there are any. Then just put in your preferred email address for us to respond to and click Submit. Now this support request will have top priority and provided it's not the middle of the night for us we'll get back to you very quickly with some help. Well that's probably enough to get you going and installing lots of mods. Thanks for watching and happy modding!